All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today I wanted to give a little kind of review and some important information about installing a Ross old drain head kit for the RB26. There's the part number in case you ever want to order this or install it into your RB26 cylinder head. Now, the first thing you're gonna have to do is knock out this lovely uh, freeze plug that they kind of blocked off the old drain or back of the head here. It's real simple, just take a hammer and a chisel or a punch and hit it on the lip and it will twist and you can pop it right out. Now, uh, first off you're gonna have to install this piece and what I did was I temporarily installed it in here in the back of the head and then I used a indent punch and marked where I wanted to drill the holes. Now, uh, how you're gonna have to drill the holes is use a 7 30 seconds drill bit, but start off with a small drill bit and then go up to the 7 30 seconds or a 5 millimeter drill bit if you have a metric drill bit set. But uh, I did not have a metric, so I went to the 7 30 seconds. After that, you're going to have to use a tap and uh, make you some threads in there, which will be a M6 with a 1.0 thread for these bolts right here. And I've already kind of ran them in and checked them, and they fit great. But I wanted to give a little review about this part. So far, I love it. Uh, it's really, really good quality. It's really lightweight material. Um, it is a 8 a 8 a n fitting so if you want to run custom a n lines you'll need to go get the a n uh, fitting stuff um i do not have any right now so i'm going to put a cap on it and uh, once i get the cylinder head back into the car then i'll start making custom lines but um yeah uh basically i wanted to say uh how you're gonna have to do this and what information you need because there's not a lot out there uh, unfortunately it does not come with any instructions it's kind of i guess common sense uh down in australia but here in america uh, some of us like instructions especially me i like instructions uh, uh the other part i wanted to kind of give a review on is their Is there a oil to water cooler uh, adapter uh, piece? Um, basically, what I had was uh, a really hard time getting my hand underneath there to uh, get to the intake bolts and everything to remove the intake manifold before removing my cylinder head. And I wanted to do this to give me more room to get underneath here. Uh, make my life a little bit easier trying to remove and install the cylinder head but uh, I do love it the only thing I did not like about it is there's no provision for your oil temp sensor that was the only thing I did not like about it uh, I don't really think an oil temp sensor is that uh, requ much required but I would have liked to at least put it back in there so I could have my factory gauges working. If you're watching this, Ross, make a provision for the oil temp sensor. It'd be nice. But other than that, uh, yeah, just go real slow. Make sure you're uh, taking your time with this. I'm going to blow it out, make sure it's all clean. But uh, if you can see in there, which I'll shine a light. I don't know if you can see in there but it is a good area for oil to just pull up in the back of the head, especially if you're doing a lot of straight line acceleration, uh, just due to where the design of the head, uh, it's got kind of like a bowl shape back there and it just holds oil and not getting it back to the cylinder or back to the oil pan. So this is gonna be a fun or great mod. Uh, it's not really required if you're running just a stock oil pump. Uh, you'll get away just fine without it, but 
if you're running a tome oil pump or super big high volume oil pump you're definitely going to want to do this but yeah i just wanted to give you instructions and as well as the information for what size drill bit you're going to need as well as the tap so when you go or if you don't have a tap kit you can go and buy the individual sizes uh, to do it correctly the first time uh, I stuffed gloves in the back of it to prevent a whole bunch of metal shavings from being in there but I'm still gonna clean it out the cylinder heads off so it's super easy for me and uh, hopefully here by tomorrow I should be getting my head gasket in the mail so start putting this bad boy in and uh, getting her put back together I'm super excited it's gonna be fun uh, hopefully I'll be making more videos about getting this bad boy up and running uh, keep you guys updated give me another week or so should have some more update or video and uh, hopefully make this a uh, ice cream cruise that's here in uh, Omaha and luckily live right down the street from Werner Baseball Stadium where they're holding the event and my buddies have a bunch of VIP spots and they're hoping I get up there I'm hoping I get up there but we'll see uh, I'm gonna pull probably a couple overnighters to get this thing done uh, I'll be super tired and groggy but it'll be worth it all right so far that's today's update and it is Monday so hopefully five more days we'll have this bad boy back together and up and running see you guys soon